Hi class class. Um, I am going to give you just a little bit of information. This is Mrs. P. As you can probably tell by my voice, most of you have heard it. I'm going to show you one little section of the nonfiction um, because I know so many of you just love this and I'm just going to, I've got a little stack of books about sharks and I'm going to kind of flip through each one so you can see it. So, here is my first choice and it's called Hark a Shark. Now, as you can tell, it's got kind of, it's not written by Dr. Seuss, but it's got kind of that kind of format. This is Hark a Shark. These are all in the nonfiction and you can find all the shark books under that, whoa. I don't know if you can see that without it being too blurry. Under the 5973. Those, those are where the shark books and the fish and some other things like that are. Look, Hark a Shark. And so they're doing it like this because they think for younger readers it might be a little bit more interesting. And so there's the cat in the hat and the two kids that are in the house. But they're going to talk about sharks. For instance, people fear sharks and that's mostly because of films that star sharks with big snapping jaws. We're not going to go through the whole book, but this might be a fun thing for you to read when you get back in school. Um, so I'll read this little part. But give sharks a chance and I think you will find they'll dazzle your eyes and broaden your mind. See this wonderful boat bobbing here on the water? It's my super stupendous ship-shaped shark spotter. For tracking down sharks, it's the best, don't you know? So hop on board and shark spotting we'll go. And then he says, Ooh. Over 400 species swim in the seas today. Let's visit with some of them anchors away. So they're talking, look at this, man is that big, great white shark, which we think is huge, and then look at that one. That is a prehistoric shark, it says right there, it's called a megalodon. And so this book talks about, huh, look at that, there's a little piece of information. We never find bones because sharks don't have those. Sharks are made up of cartilage, just like your nose. And it says cartilage helps sharks to turn and to bend and to move through the water much faster, my friend. And so there's more and they touch them. And so this is a really fun book and it tells you lots of information, even though, look at that. Human skin grafts are grown from shark skin. Strange, huh? Okay, so bye-bye to that book. And look, we have one on tiger sharks. I'm not sure why they're called tiger sharks. I wonder if it'll tell us. Deadly nighttime hunter. Tiger sharks and people. Let's flip through the, whoa. It says a tiger shark shows off rows of sharp teeth strong enough to crack a sea turtle's shell. <gasps> Look at those. I don't think we want to be in the water at the same time. And there's a striped tiger shark. And so this also, we have a whole series of books um, by the same publisher, and again, 597.3 is where we can find them in our nonfiction section. And so, it says a tiger shark has eight fins. The fins are stiff and strong. The tiger shark uses them to swim. So, look at this guy. Hello? says a tiger shark has a wide flat snout. Does that look wide and flat? Yes, and it looks like he might have been eating something earlier today. It's kind of gross. 
but it gives you all information about the gills, how they can stay underwater, um, what they eat. It says they, oh, look at that. He just cruises along with his mouth open and catches fish, just like that. But we do not want to be one of those small fish. Okay, so that's that one. This one is about mako sharks. I'm just gonna flip through this really quick because we have several books and I don't want this to be. It says there's two types of mako sharks darting around the ocean. Short fins are the most common, long fins are harder to find. This is a short fin. This talks about their streamlined bodies. People can see mako sharks near this California beach. We probably might not want to swim around where there's sharks. And apparently sharks like to eat sea turtles. Hmm. And schools of fish. Okay, that's mako sharks. Whale sharks. Look at how beautiful that is, and it's huge. It says, whale sharks enjoy swimming on the surface, but they can dive deep as well. And look at, these are five gills, the slits right on their side, and it, it helps the whale shark take in oxygen from the surrounding water. Oh, the giant sucking machine. The biggest shark in the world has teeth so small they are useless, but they there are in, there are between 3,000 and 6,000 of them, and these teeth are smaller than a fingernail. Boy, lots of information. And look how big the shark is compared to those lovely little yellow fish that it is going to probably swallow up and eat whale sharks then we have black tip reef sharks we have hammerhead sharks those are always fun to look at you could do a whole big report on just hammerhead sharks with the information we have right here in your library wouldn't those be a funny thing to see if you were diving look one eye here Hello, and one eye all the way over here, but you can't see it because he's not facing that way. And he's just letting food slide into his mouth. It says that they will eat almost anything. That is a stingray. And it says, some predators see the stingray and keep away. Hammerhead sharks see food. So this part in the book says, we don't know why this shark has such an odd head, but we do know it helps them see really well. But can you imagine seeing on one side of your body with one eye and on the other side of your body with the other eye? That would be pretty weird. Oh, and look at that one. Huh. How do you think that one would get through a door? I don't know. They probably don't have to worry about it. Okay, that's all for hammerhead sharks. Whale sharks. Look, it says the gaping mouth of this whale shark sucks in small fish. That is a lot of fish. If there are so many sharks in the ocean, there better be a lot of little fish for them to eat says whale sharks are the largest fish in the ocean. You see that guy? He's way up on the surface. And this whale shark is way below. It says, do not let the name fool you. A whale shark is not a whale. It's a whale-sized shark. Whale sharks are the world's largest fish and they can grow to be as long as a school bus. And it says, and they are heavy too. Adult whale sharks weigh more 
than a school bus full of kids. <gasps> How can that even be? I would like to see that. But on to the next one, which is basking sharks. Look at that big mouth. Let's see what happens with him. Is that a shark? Is a big fish having babies, staying alive in the ocean? Basking sharks and people. Okay, a fish sticking out of the water could mean danger. This time, it's a harmless basking shark. It's springtime, you're standing on the beach looking out at the ocean, then you see it. A gray triangle sticks out of the water. It's a fin, and it belongs to a huge fish. <gasps> Is it a great white shark? No. It's even bigger, and then you see the wide, yawning mouth, but you can relax. It's a basking shark. <clears throat> hmm. He's kind of weird looking. I don't know if I would even notice that he was a shark. And look at his fins. The, or not his fins, his gills.